The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was teaching in the temple area, he said, How do the scribes claim that the Christ is the son of David? David himself, inspired by the Holy Spirit, said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I place your enemies under your feet. David himself called him Lord, so how is he his son? The great crowd heard this with delight. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. If you have been following the readings, the first reading especially, you know that Tobit was blinded because of his cataract. So, yung cataract, lumasakit na yan. Ano ba? He had his cataract because of the poop of the bird. Naiputan siya ng ibon. Bakit siya naiputan ng ibon? Natulog siya sa ilalim ng puno na walang takip ang mukha. Now, the story of today is that the cataract was removed and he was able to see again. How? When the fish gall was put in his eyes. Ano ba yung fisgal? Abdu. Yung abdu ng isda. Ano po? Now, the question is, was really the fisgal healed the cataract of Tobit? Yun ang tanong. Yung bang abdu talaga ng isda ang nakatanggal ng cataract ni Tobit? Kasi kung yun ang nakatanggal, ay di dapat yung mga may katarak ngayon, punasan nyo na lang ang mga mata ninyo ng abdo ng isda. The simple answer is no. The katarak of Tobit, and he was, was removed and was able to see the light again. For two simple reasons. He was able to see and perhaps understand the will of God for him. Second, it is out of obedience to bias out of obedience to the angel. Diba? Kung kayo ay nakakakita ng, ng picture, ng statue ni Saint Raphael, the angel, may hawak na isda. Ano po, siguro mas, mas naintindihan nyo, bakit ba may hawak na isda yung anghel na yan? Ano po, because of the story. Kasi mas mahirap hawakan yung abdo lang, di po ba? Ano, ano ba yung daladala niyan? Ano, abdo. At least alam mo, galing, galing yung, yung abdo ng isda ang nagmulat kay Tobit. Maybe the same story, if you remember na Aman, the Syrian, the leper. He was told by the prophet Elisha to take a seven deep in the, Jer the Jordan River seven times. You know that Naaman has hesitated for one simple reason. He complained, why in Jordan, why not in Damascus when we have a better water a clearer water kung kayo nakarating na sa Israel hindi ko alam kung kayo ay tutubog talaga sa Jordan River ano pa pag aho nyo hindi ko kayo isasama sa sakyan kung kayo ay kasama ko sa pilgrimage amoy bab amoy baka kayo amoy kalabaw kayo ano po kasi maputik was the Jordan River the cause of healing of Naaman the same answer not the water, but the obedience. The obedience. 
And because of the obedience, Naaman was, his eyes was open. Not because he was blinded. When you say, nabuksan ang mata, ibig sabihin ay nagkaroon ng linaw ang pagka, pagkakaisip, ang kaisipan. Nagkaroon ng mas malalim na pagkaintindi. Marami sa atin ang bulag, hindi dahil hindi tayo nakakakita. Ayaw nating intindihin. Namimili lang tayo ng pakikinggan. Marami sa atin ang namatay, nagkasakit dahil sa COVID, hindi dahil hindi mo alam. Kundi dahil hindi ka nakikinig. Hindi ka nakikinig. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, when are we going to learn that many of our problems, tragedies, miseries in life are brought about by our own doings. Sarili nating pagkakamali. Dala ng ating katigasan ng ulo. Kawalan ng pakikinig at kawalan ng pagsunod sa Diyos. Kaya nga, palaging pinapaalala sa magulang kung meron kayong ituturo sa inyong mga anak, ay hindi lang yung magkaroon ng laman ang utak nila. Maintindihan nila ang biyaya ng pagiging masunurin. Paano mo, paano mo susundin ang Diyos kung ang sarili mo magulang hindi mo kayang sundin? And how can you be blessed and you continue to live a life of disobedience? Itinama ka na ng Diyos. Itinuro na. Anong sabi? Kung ano man ang pinabitawan sa'yo ng Diyos, huwag mo nang dadamputin uli. Kung ano man ang pinaiwanan sa'yo ng Diyos, huwag mo nang babalikan. Pagkamisan, hindi yan ang kwento. Kasi sakit natin yung tinatawag na BSDU. BSDU. Ano yun? Balik sa dating ugali. Mahilig tayo sa ganon. Mahilig tayo. Kahit gano katalino, sabi ko nga, may mga taong nakikinig lamang sa mga bagay na gusto nilang marinig. May mga taong mulat, hindi makakita kasi ang tinitingnan lang nila ay ang mga bagay na gusto nilang makita. Kaya nga palagi natin niya pinagdada sa Lord grant me the grace to see what I ought to see to hear what I ought to hear, that I may do what you ought, I ought to do. Naway makita ko, marinig ko, upang magawa ko ang dapat kong gawin. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, and what is the gospel trying to tell us? You can never reason before God because God was there long before everything came. And God will remain after all these things will be gone. Amen.